This is uh, Professor George Adams, and I have a very simple demonstration to show you of chaos in a two degree of freedom system. Now, what is it that we have here? It's a double pendulum, and if you look at a side view of it, you'll see that the upper arm actually has two arms which are attached to each other, and the lower arm is a single arm. And that has some importance uh, later on, as we'll see. Now, we can very easily simulate this behavior if we give the system a small angular displacement. Remember, there are two degrees of freedom. One degree of freedom is associated with the angular rotation of the upper arm, and another degree of freedom is associated with the angular rotation of the lower arm. And as long as we give the system relatively small angular displacements, 10, 20 degrees or so, and let go, it will oscillate back and forth in a very predictable manner. We can simulate this on the computer, and what we get on the computer uh, program will be very similar to what we see here physically. And of course, that's good. But what happens when we give this system a large angular displacement, say 90 degree displacement for the upper arm, zero for the lower arm, and let go? Well, as you can see, it behaves in a very unexpected manner. It almost looks like it's defying conservation of energy when it makes those 360s. But remember, the lower arm has only half the mass of the upper arm. So uh, that's why some energy can be transferred to the more, from the more massive upper arm to the lower arm. Now, what would happen if we simulated this on the computer? Well, uh, many years ago, I had uh, uh, some students simulate this as a special project and sure enough, when the angular displacements were small, the simulation results agreed very well with what we saw physically. But when we gave the system a larger angular displacement, it became virtually impossible to accurately simulate the system. Now, what we saw in the computer results was a behavior which was very unpredictable and very unexpected, but not the same exact unpredictable behavior that we're seeing here. And that's because what characterizes a chaotic system is that any small disturbance in the initial conditions, if, for example, instead of giving this upper arm a 90 degree displacement, I gave it a 90.01 degree displacement, and let go, I could expect entirely different results. And you can imagine where such a system would be extremely hard uh, to predict the results for. Now, uh, also several years ago, uh, I met somebody at a conference, a professional conference, who mentioned that uh, he had previously worked at NASA for many years. And in one of their projects, they were simulating the deployment of an antenna system from a satellite. And of course, it's something that they couldn't easily do without first simulating uh, that behavior to, and then actually building the physical system and sending it off into space. Now, what he said was that uh, they were getting very unpredictable results in the, or very unexpected results in the simulation. And they were sure that there was some mistake that they had made in the computer programming. But he said that in retrospect, he thought that what they had was a system which was actually chaotic. And that was the reason that the uh, computer simulation was behaving uh, badly. And that if they had built the physical system and deployed it, that physical system would probably also uh, behave in that chaotic manner. Okay, now, for example, suppose I did not have this physical system, 
but tried to simulate this physical system on a computer and looked at the results on a screen and suppose the results on the screen show this. Well, would you believe that result of the computer program? I don't think I would, frankly. And uh, that's because this system behaves in a very unexpected manner. And in fact, it would be very difficult to predict with any sort of accuracy uh, using a simulation. But once we build the physical system, we can easily show that, yes, indeed, this system is behaving in a very uncharacteristic or unexpected manner. Okay, so that concludes this demonstration of chaos in a two degree of freedom system. Thank you.